Hi guys, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Um, very excited about this year's FLL 2016-2017 uh, Animal Allies uh, board challenge or robot game. So what I'm going to do is to uh, maybe help you with the scoring. I'm going to go ahead and show you the missions and how much everything's worth so you can hopefully make the best decisions about what you and your teams uh, decide to do in those two and a half minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and go to the board and let's check this out. Okay, so the first mission we're going to look at is uh, the shark mission. So the shark is in its aquarium and it will stay or start in base. And then there's two target areas that we're trying to get it to go into. So let's go ahead and look at those target areas. So as you can see, um, the shark basically um, doesn't isn't attached to anything it kind of free floats so you're trying to your robots trying to push the shark completely into either this first target area and this first target area is worth seven points if it's completely in that area and then if you push your shark container into this area here that's going to be worth 10 points and then you get an added bonus if your shark is not touching anything, still free floating, then you're going to get a bonus of 20 points. So all in all, um, if your shark tank is in the second target area, it's really worth 30 points if your shark is not touching any of the sides of the aquarium. And then if you're in this target one area, then this would be worth 27 points. So, you know, you can do the math and figure out, wow, you know, what's three points, um, you know, from base, this is a straighter shot, um, you know, is three points worth trying to make this turn over here? It's going to be up to your team uh, what you guys do for that. So that is the shark mission right there. Okay, our next mission is going to be the service dog action here. So right now, currently, um, the blind person and the dog are look like they're ready to cross the street. So we have this, uh, basically this warning fence here. So your robot is going to go from west to east, traveling along this road here. It will push this warning fence down and it makes the dog sit up like that. And if your robot can do that, that is 15 points right there. Um, and that's again, traveling from west to east uh, not sure if your robot can actually come back going over that way, um, but I know that your robot cannot travel from east to west to get the points. Um, I don't know. It sounds like it would be easier for your robot to just make the round trip to other missions or back here to base. But again, uh, the service dog action, uh, hitting the fence down, is 15 points. Okay, our next mission is going to be the feeding mission here. And we have this refrigerator that's filled with, it's filled with the food, uh, the food pieces, no lie, horizontally like that. So your robot is either going to be pulling on this yellow uh, rod here, or it can be pushing it from the back. And so your robot's going to have to uh, get the food out. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. So there should be eight pieces of food. Um, and so what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to get the food pieces inside of the feeding areas. So a feeding areas here with the uh, ape, the bat, uh, the flamingo, or the frogs over here. And so for every piece of food you get into an, a feeding area is 10 points. If you're going to have multiple pieces of food in an area, it needs to be the same color. So that would be 20 points right there. Um, if you accidentally do this, then that's still 10 points because we don't have uh, matching colors. So if you can somehow, your team can get all the matching colors in the feeding areas, that's 80 points right there. Not too bad. Okay, our next mission is going to be the pig mission. So uh, the pig's prosthesis is here in base, and our pig is set up right here. So what we're going to do is our robot is going to come and retrieve this pig, bring it into base, and then uh, it 
By hand, your team will put the prosthesis on the pig. And the prosthesis will look like this when it's on your pig. Now, if your team just did that and left it in base, that would be nine points. If your team can somehow put the pig into this area here with all the other animals, then that would be worth uh, 15 points. So it's up to you what you would try to decide. Um, the only problem about pushing it to this area here is if, let's say, your robot pushed it here and, you know, we don't get into that area, then you don't even get the points for having put the prosthesis on the pig. So it could be safer to have it here for the nine points. If you want to take a chance and put it in here, that's 15, but it's either one. If you don't make it there, then you don't even get the points for have putting the prosthesis on there. Okay, next mission is going to be the seal or just the camera mission. If your robot can uh, pick up the camera and bring it into base here, that's going to be worth 15 points. Um, what really doesn't make sense is if your robot can bring the seal into base, that would be worth one point. Um, I'm not sure why you would do that for the one point. I'm not sure if it's worth the time. But again, a seal fully intact in base, one point. The camera in base, 15 points. Okay, the next mission is called the Panda Release Mission. Um, so built correctly, if your robot can open up the Panda enclosure here going clockwise, that is 10 points right there. Okay, the next mission is the uh, training and research uh, mission here. We'll actually talk about the dog trainer and the dog and the zoologist at the same time. So the dog trainer and dog will start in base. If you can uh, bring them into the training area, that is worth 12 points right there. And then the zoologist will be over here by the pandas. If you can bring the zoologist to the training area here, that will be worth 15 points. Okay, everybody, for the next mission, it's going to be the milking automation uh, mission here. So we have the red lever facing uh, over here on the mat. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is your robot um, must spin the cowasel um, enough to get the milk to come out. If the milk comes out, that is uh, 20 points right there. If you somehow go too far and the manure comes out, then that's only worth 15. So you get an extra five points if just the milk comes out. Okay, the next mission is going to be the milk mission. Um, <clears throat> let's be honest. <clears throat> okay, the next mission is the milk uh, mission. To be honest, I'm a not a hundred percent sure everything on this you can let me know if there's been some updates or if I'm defining uh, what first has said about this but here we go uh, all three milk from the milking automation if it's brought over here to base that is worth one point then if we go to the next one if and let me read this right off of uh, the website are all three milk completely supported by the ramp? Um, I'm, and that's for two points. My definition would be maybe if your robot ends here on the ramp and your robot has the milk, that that would be worth uh, the two points for milk being on the ramp because here's what the next one says. It says, are all three milk completely supported by the ramp and they are the only things touching the ramp. So, you know, if my definition would be this. So the milk are not touching a robot. They are the only things on here and, they're the, and there are the only things touching the ramp. So for that one, that would be worth three points right here and then lastly 
um, are all three milk on the ramp and they are all standing up. If that's the case, then your points would be four. So again, if you find some updates or if I'm defining this wrong, let me know. Um, sure wish the points would be more. It seems like a lot of work for, uh, you know, four, three or two points, one point for putting them in base. But, you know, we have to have all the options and see what your scoring uh, can be. So there is the milk. Okay, the next mission is the uh, biomimicry uh, mission. So the first part of this mission would be the uh, gecko. White gecko starts in base. And if your robot can attach this gecko uh, to the wall, you're going to be getting 15 points. So this white gecko is being uh, all of its weight is uh, supporting or the wall is supporting its weight and then something wild and crazy um, I haven't seen it happen yet would love to see it happen does the biomimicry wall support all the weight of the robot and initially I had thought wow are they talking about uh, you know a, a model that we had to build for this robot and I'm like wow are they talking about the real robot your EV3 robot so until I see otherwise, 32 points uh, for the biomimicry wall supporting the weight of the robot. I'm looking at the points going, yeah, that's probably the case then because look how many points they're giving you and that would be a very tough uh, mission to do. So there you go, there's the uh, biomimicry wall mission. Okay, the next mission is uh, beekeeping. So there's a bee right here on the mat if your robot is able to uh, put the bee on top of the bee house here, or the hive, and the honey comes out, that is worth 12 points. And then for the extra three points, if you can somehow bring the bee is still on top um, of the beehive, and if the honey is in base, then you get 15 points for that. Okay, everybody, our next mission is the animal conservation mission here. Um, I'm having doubts on the importance of this mission, um, if teams should even do this mission. Uh, you know, you're really solely depending on other teams, you know, on the opposite board to do this mission to really make it worth it. But here we go. I'll go, I'll go over what you do and the points, and you guys can make up your own mind. Let me know if I'm reading into this wrong. Um, but before the match, you'll physically put uh, one of your models into the tray. It doesn't have to be your reindeer. It could be the bat, gorilla, flamingo, or the frogs um, by hand. And then during the match, your robot will um, make the trays switch. The rules say a successful switch is when the uh, red axle doesn't allow the tray to move anymore. So that's a, that's a good switch here. Um, but to get the 20 points, <clears throat> the other team is going to have to remove this animal and place it on their, their field. So, again, um, I'm having some doubts whether, you know, you, if you go into the match assuming or I don't know if you think that the other team is going to do that. Um, I'm having some confusion on the validity of this mission um, I don't know still not sure whether that's important enough I think there are other missions that are more uh, predictable but hey you guys can figure this out for yourselves so again if the other team can remove with their robot this animal place it onto their field then both teams will get the 20 points per pair of animals and uh, that's going to be something that you and your team have to figure out, you know, can we do that? Is this worth the points, worth the time that it would take to do this? So that is the animal conservation uh, mission. Uh, give me your thoughts down below in, in the comments section. If uh, I'm reading into this wrong, if you think that you uh, have some insight that I'm not seeing about this mission, or maybe agree with me that it's not 
necessarily the best use of your team's time. I don't know. But anyway, uh, those are the missions <clears throat> for this year's 2016-2017 uh, Animal Allies uh, robot game. Uh, best of luck to your coaches, teams, um, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, our next mission is going to be the service dog action here. So right now, currently, um, the blind person and the dog are look like they're ready to cross the street. So we have this uh, basically this warning fence here. So your robot is going to go from west to east, traveling along this road here. It will push this warning fence down, and it makes the dog sit up like that. And if your robot can do that, that is 15 points right there. Um, and that's, again, traveling from west to east. Uh, not sure if your robot can actually come back going over that way, um, but I know that your robot cannot travel from east to west to get the points. Um, I don't know. It sounds like it would be easier for your robot to just make the round trip to other missions or back here to base. But again, uh, the service dog action, uh, hitting the fence down, is 15 points. Okay, our next mission is going to be the feeding mission here. And we have this refrigerator that's filled with... It's filled with the food, uh, the food pieces, and they'll lie horizontally like that. So your robot is either going to be pulling on this yellow uh, rod here, or it can be pushing it from the back. And so your robot's going to have to uh, get the food out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there should be eight pieces of food. Um, and so what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to get the food pieces inside of the feeding areas. So a feeding area is here with the uh, ape, the bat, uh, the flamingo or the frogs over here. And so for every piece of food you get into an, a feeding area is 10 points. If you're gonna have multiple pieces of food in an area, it needs to be the same color. So that would be 20 points right there. Um, if you accidentally do this, then that's still 10 points because we don't have uh, matching colors. So if you can somehow, your team can get all the matching colors in the feeding areas, that's 80 points right there. Not too bad.